Oh my gosh, I'm moving so slowly. This is pathetic. Okay. We're live, you fools. Oh, good God. Not again. It's live from the asylum. Starring Michael Rakowski. Elise Ivino. What's that goddamn music? <laughs> the music's not playing. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, it's not playing? No, no. it's not playing. No. That's weird. Well, uh, uh, Let's Jennifer Prescott. Let's start up. Jennifer Prescott. <laughs> I thought I had my shout sound sharing. Uh, Sam Zalbrer. <laughs> Aaron Shore. This is a sign of our <laughs> utmost professionalism. Yeah, because season seven and our special guest. One and only Mark Kendall. Woo, woo. Hey, wait a sec. Woo. Tonight's suggestion, now that the music's back, uh, it comes from a card. And that card is Jennifer. I shall procure the card. And the card says, not enough money to pay the bill. Not enough money to pay the bill. Uh, we cut to Elise's apartment. She's sick with a cold. A very silent cold. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> hey. Hey, Elise. Hi. Hey, I, uh, I haven't seen you down at the at the asylum in a while. I just want to see how you're doing. Honestly, I'm sick because you. Because me? Yeah, you got me sick. <sighs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Well, while you were gone, I hired somebody to help me out at the bar. You hired somebody? Yeah, I mean, without you, it's been kind you of. You can't hire somebody. I did not label you like. Fine. It's just okay. Whatever. It's just okay. You can running. you can come in. I don't worry. I don't think it's contagious. <laughs> Clearly, it's contagious. You gave it to me. Well, that just means put him in. Yeah, oh, come on, come on. It's all right. You can. Don't be afraid. I'm not a scary person. Do you think I'm scary? <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess maybe he's downstairs. Do I look scary? What do I look like? Oh, oh. Is it safe yet? Is the oh, scary hey. person feeling better? Hey, come here. You know, yeah, no, I mean, she's not. Michael, what are you doing here? S Sam asked I, me to come, but- You know I you're not allowed anywhere near my along. apartment for the next two weeks. He keeps on helping, he keeps on going behind the bar. So I figured I might as well have him help and for money so no 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 no. ever since last week when we got in that argument and remember i won the argument and then i got to pick the reward and the reward was michael doesn't come near me for two weeks and he's near me i'm still <laughs> convinced you only won because you're a witch he wouldn't stop bothering me until oh, i the power of christ compels you the power we of cut, Christ compels you. We this cut to the bar water. with me and Carolyn. God, it's disgusting. Ah, man. The amount of germs and ugh, effluvium, really. Ugh. God, I don't want to touch a thing. Not with my own fleshy hands. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, oh, go ahead, Jennifer. There's a sickness going around this place, and I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't want to get it either. I hear it actually makes you feel like you have authority. <laughs> Not only do you have phlegm, but you hire people. And oh. Excuse me, are, are any of the owners of this establishment? She, not I. Uh, you're being <laughs> audited. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. 
Yeah, there's no punchline. Oh, and there he goes <laughs> as quickly as he came. Well, gosh darn it, if this is a case where I'm sure glad that I'm not owner of anything. <laughs> does not look good. It's like 40 pages. Is that like... And it's in triplicate? Yeah, there's like six or seven copies here. God. And there seems to be a uh, a bill attached to it, a uh, staple to the top. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's really expensive. I cannot even afford that force majeure lawyer to help us out with this. Oh God. Uh, I'm feeling very OCD right now. Hey, uh, hey, Carolyn. Hey, hey Jennifer. Hey. How you how you doing now that I hired you back as the owner of the asylum? <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna say thank you for that, but at the same time, I have a little problem. Uh huh. As, as my boss, I think you should handle this fifty to seventy page double sided document that I was just subpoenaed. Do you get subpoenaed by the anyway audited with? Take but a I I hired you to be the boss again, I so that I don't have to work with papers. I'm not good at that part. We, we cut to uh, the IRS headquarters. It's a big, scary castle with lightning. And there's the overlord of the IRS waiting for his minions. <gasps> Sir, I've done it. I've, I've turned in the, the audit to the asylum. <laughs> They won't know what hit them. <laughs> Listen, uh, you know, Bob, I wanted to say thank you so much for all your work with the asylum, run the audit, everything like that. It's, yes, it, it's been like a really great year for us. And um, so I, I, I took a little bit of uh, funds from the party fund and I got you a gift. So, uh, over no. there to your left, if you could just open up that gift right here, it's, it's oh. for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, uh, this is so nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I I know people have like a lot of bad feelings about the IRS. Yeah, uh, I mean it's war it's warranted, you know. Sure. But that doesn't mean that we can't have fun internally, you know. Oh my goodness, yeah. Gerald. So, so that's for you. Yeah, Gerald, you got me a tabagachi. I did. I did. I remember, you know. A while God. ago, during the 90s theme party, you talked about how you lost yours. I did. One camp, and it was like a harrowing experience. Oh, and so my God. My buddy Paul, he, like, collects a lot of old video games, and I was able to barter with him and, and got, got that a, for you. It's got an engraving on the back of it. It does. It does. Jerry, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jerry, it says here, you're the best tax man money could ever buy. Love the IRS. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, Can and you that, release his apartment? My heart's a flutter. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm sick of playing with Furbies and Polly Pockets. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Why are you looking into my window? I was just trying to give you this copy of the Bible to see if it burnt you on contact. I was Stop also calling me a witch. To... That's why we had the argument in the first place. I was also going to Sage. I like Sage. Give me that. Uh -oh. Does it burn at all, you demon? Okay, cut it out. Look, seriously, though, since you're here, what's going on downstairs? I, I can't stand not being like in the game. You know, what? I'm just going to go down there. I feel, I feel like I'm better. I feel like I'm good enough to go down. You're not better. I Trust thought. me, it's all the holy water. It's slowly killing you. I'm going to the bar with Elise. What was that? Cut to the bar with Elise. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Elise. It's good to see you back in the bar. What's Nothing. wrong with you? Nothing. I'm totally fine. Why would I not be okay? Why do you think I don't look okay? You've got like green mucus coming out of your left nostril. Yeah, it's not contagious. Don't worry. Elise, um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't mind this garlic necklace that I'm wearing to deter you from coming within six I'm to ten not, feet. I'm not an evil spirit. I know, but I really need to ask a huge favor of you. Sure. We are being audited and we need someone to go in to the IRS. And I think the meanest, most badass person 
needs to go in. And I was thinking that was you. I mean, I've been shot five times, though. Since the asylum started. Um, okay, I could do it. Oh, cool. I got it. Oh, cool. Are you sure you could, you know, you know, maybe wear a mask? Oh, okay. all right. Could you like maybe take a it's Benadryl? Fine. Or... She could use her voodoo witchcraft against them. The iOS, I'm sure, is distinctly unprepared for that. She clearly has a like a flu going on here, guys. Am I the only one who saves? It's, it's the holy water. I've been putting it in a shampoo. Oh, bacteria water. Okay. We cut to the reception desk at the IRS with the lease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, you want to see the big guy? He's here. Is that you? Yeah, I've been moonlighting. At the IRS? <laughs> yeah. Skip hey, do you have any a of lot of skills. Yeah. I'll just let you meet with him now. Wait, Skippy, Skippy, Skippy. Hey, hey, I know we don't get to talk too much, uh, but I just <laughs> wanted to reintroduce myself. My name's Clark, uh, and I just wanted to say, you know, we really appreciate all the work you've been doing here. And, um, you know, I I got some funds from the party fund. And uh, if you look <laughs> over to your left there, there's a gift that I got for you. Um, for me? For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your excellent work. I, I know that the IRS has a reputation for not being the best of places and that criti critique is warranted, but that doesn't mean that we can't have a great time all year. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the IRS yeah. is the best. Well, you know, can you, hey, earlier- Can you put it on me? Can you put it on me? You just like put the snap. It's hard for me to put the necklace on. It's beautiful. Does this mean we're like dating? What was that? Sorry. Does this mean we're dating? <laughs> oh, you know, whatever kind of love it is that you need in this moment, uh, I'm happy to provide it. I, 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 I got the, I got the necklace because, you know, at the holiday party earlier, you talked about how that was the one memento that you had left over from your mom and you lost it, you, you know? And so Wait, uh, how do you I, know all these things about me? Are you like listening to me or something? Well, well, yeah. You know, you told this story at the holiday party. I took notes. Yeah, but uh, you weren't at the holiday party. Were you recording the holiday party? Is the IRS like literally have secret cameras everywhere? Uh, well, there are cameras everywhere. I don't mean for them to be secret, but but yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I took I took notes from the holiday party and I thought it was something that you I might mean, appreciate. It was very thoughtful. I mean, did everybody get a gift or just me? Uh, well, yours is not the only gift, but something that we say at the IRS is just because if you're one of many doesn't mean that you're still not special. Um, and so, uh, hopefully, hopefully that necklace, uh, you know, brightens your day. And, it does, but um, there's one thing though, that I was supposed to ask you, please. Um, can we not be audited? Uh, you know, I can check, I can check in the party fund and see if we can rescind <laughs> an audit. Um, I know I'm the boss of the IRS. I'd be, but I let actually, me just say, I'd be very grateful if you did. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate that. And uh, I would, the, the, the reality of that is, is that I'd have to check with my boss. Uh, and so there's a boss of the IRS uh, and that is the um, SEC. So that's the, uh, um, we cut to, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Go for it. Cut Go to Jennifer, Jennifer's hot tub with anyone who wants to be there. <laughs> Oh. Yep, 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 yep. So I, so I have this paint can of goat's blood, and I'm just going to paint every opening of Elise's of uh, Elise's of uh, of uh, every opening in Elise's apartment, hoping it'll like keep the evil juju demon away. Dude, she's got like bronchitis. I, I'm telling you, that's that's literally what this is. It's because I'm. Putting holy water in a shampoo. I can hear you guys from the vent. I, I'm not evil. She's see. She could heal us two fools up. And I don't have bro. <laughs> oh God! It's coming through the vent. I felt it splash on my face. Ugh. I need to Jennifer, get a priest. Jennifer, Jennifer, can we like get more bubbles in this thing? Like lots of bubbles. Yeah, Please. you guys. There's this weird thing. I feel like someone's watching me in my hot tub and I'm pretty sure 
It's the IRS. I always feel like somebody. Hey y'all! It's, oh, it's me. Whoa! Sorry, everyone. Um, I I didn't I I went home and I kind of like reflected on you know a conversation I had earlier today, and so going forward, I just want to announce when I'm you know uh, observing folks, and so the IRS has cameras all around here, and so I realize people may not always notice that, um, but. Also, I wanted to say, oh, yeah, did you have a question? Yeah, just a quick question. Why why, why did you guys use the Fisher-Price cameras? Uh, they were cheaper, but they're actually a lot sturdier than you think because they're oh. child-proof can also just mean human-proof, frankly. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, but, you know, to sort of like hopefully atone for this unexpected intrusion on your pool party, uh, I went into the party fund. And um, each of y'all, if you kind of look to your right there, you'll see that. I got you each uh, gifts. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh yeah. My god. Wow, that really makes up for the incredible intrusion on my private hot tub where I often bathe. I got a cat. Yeah, I've always wanted one of these. You know, at the uh, Thanksgiving party, you kind of talked about how you had had a cat and then you lost I one. I did. I lost one. Oh yeah. god, Spunkers! I miss him so much. I'm gonna call him Spunkers too. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, IRS. Wow. Noise canceling oh. headphones so I don't have to hear Elise anymore. <laughs> Are all these video cameras really part of the IRS auditing system? Are you trying to see if we're cheating on our taxes and stuff? <gasps> well, honestly, it, it, it may have started that way, but you know, when I was tasked with all these videos and all these things to watch through, I found that I actually had this really great opportunity to find the perfect gift for everyone everywhere and but so i've kind of taken that on so upon bad. myself we didn't get anything for you we should have like done something for you yeah. my god you know honestly y'all the gift has been like learning about each of y'all's lives i i know a whole lot about you all uh and um so you know i'm happy to give gifts and Could i'm also happy to be apartment? a part of your lives what's anybody so i mean look I know like this IRS guy is giving us all gifts and stuff, but isn't it kind of weird? Yeah, it is kind of weird. And like, you know, I kind of, I kind of didn't get the gift that I wanted. I mean, do you think, yeah. we, I, I mean, yeah, the double extension is like beautiful. I mean, look at this. I mean, it, yeah, it looks, it looks good. Look, I kind of, do you think he's trying to overthrow Santa? <laughs> I kind of think so. The last time I went to the mall, I saw the IRS guy and he's like, he had a sign, sit on my lap. This is the final straw. We cannot let the IRS ruin Christmas. I know, and it's unbelievable. And the funny part is he's still auditing us. We need to do something about it. We need to save Santa. Yeah, and we need to save the asylum from this audit. Oh yeah, that too. We cut to a montage of the IRS guy auditing several things throughout the asylum. <laughs> you get an audit. You get an audit. He gets an audit. We're all giving audits. We cut to Santa and elves making toys. <laughs> all right. Is this the North Pole? Because I'm the IRS. Oh, it's not the South Pole. <laughs> You're so funny. What's your name there, little one? Oh, I'm um, Timmy. Timmy. Mm, okay. Well, Timmy, the North Pole and Santa Claus are being audited. Sorry. Huh? But I think Christmas is canceled. This That's year. an audit. Christmas is canceled? Yeah, you got to pay your bills and uh, like you're kind of behind the on that. I legal authority for that. We cut back to the goddamn oh, oh, oh. asylum where the oh, IRS oh, guy is auditing the asylum. <laughs> hmm. Just a boring day at the asylum, have, right? Wait, have you seen the audit? Have you seen the IRS? Good God, I hope he doesn't audit me. Yeah, he gave me this bobblehead. I would oh. hate to be audited. You guys, you need to get out of this spell of the IRS. He's trying Honestly. to overthrow Santa. I know it. He could be anywhere. He could be Honestly, in the 
after all these gifts, he could audit me anytime he wants. Ew. Yeah, I was thinking about putting this in my new act somehow. Is that a euphemism? Or freeze, a freeze. As we see all these characters talking, we start to pull out and we're looking at a monitor, different monitors in another room with two people watching them. It's funny, Sir, right? I think they're fighting amongst one another and I don't think they're appreciating their gifts. Yeah, you know, I, I, I tried really hard to get the perfect gift, but it seems like it's had uh, perhaps the opposite effect of what I intended. Sir, may I be so bold and say that if you look underneath your seat, you will find a gift for me. Oh my gosh, look. I can't believe that. Oh, I'm opening it up. Go for it. Oh wow, you, I can't believe you thought of this for me. This is so nice. Yeah. It's a uh it's a uh, it's a it's a work sabbatical, a paid leave thing where I get to kind of like take a break from the IRS and sort of like you Let's deserve vacation, passion. sir. We all thought it, and we pulled together from the party fund to get you a nice vacation at the uh, Atlantis Hotel. That is amazing. I've always wanted to go. I, I did an audit on the Atlantis Hotel where I got to audit things, so I didn't get to like participate, you know? And man, that was that was rough. And so to finally get a chance to go there as a guest, it, it just really means so much. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. I actually went to the Atlantis one time, and I'll tell you, they've got some mean water slides, so don't miss out on those. Oh, no, I, I certainly won't. Um, hey, listen, you know, this has been great not to, you know, give a gift with a gift, but since I'm going to be gone, uh, I got to give you this key here. Uh, oh. That's the key to the IRS. Uh, that'll also give you access to all the, you know, surveillance cameras you can do what you will with it but you know i, if I, I love that if it's I, a, a colorful plastic key <laughs> yeah yeah fisher price so fisher um cut to yeah. the north pole <laughs> Rush, Santa, Santa, Rush. what's that i've got snow in my ears <laughs> oh Santa, you're so silly um oh, oh. i got we got we got some papers they said audit oh Nobody audits Santa. Somebody's getting coal this year. <laughs> so we're good, right? I think so. I'll just build another igloo on the South Pole if anything happens. Okay. All right, we are now repossessing this entire complex. All these toys and tools will be oh. going on auction starting on Saturday. What? Santa Claus, I'm going to have to take that beard off of you. Oh! <laughs> All right, Timmy, it's oh, time God. to get the candy canes. Cut Santa, to the asylum. You do not have, you do not have a nice jawline. Oh, so, Michael, I feel horrible that I have to cancel the yearly asylum Christmas slash open holiday party due to having used all the party funds to send the IRS on holiday. I'm... Listen, they gave us nice gifts. I feel like we should give them the benefit of the doubt. It's true, but the cost of maintaining this new gifted extension, I don't know. I might have to cut salaries <laughs> to get my products. Well, it Jesus. doesn't affect you at all. <laughs> no, I work here. Come on. If Sam thinks he could dr drop the quality of his serving anymore, First of all, he can't. And second of all, I don't want to see him try. Oh, God. How much worse could it possibly get? He'll just pour hey, it on I my got, head or something. I got some new drinks for you, too. They are in tree stumps that I carved out. Oh, oh that's... Jesus Christ. Well, it's certainly artisanal, but I'm not sure it's entirely hygienic. Oh, God. Hey, uh... Um, oh, delicious. Hey, guys. I have a splinter in my throat. That sucks. Um, I was able to pay the bill. What? Yeah, I, I paid the bill. Well, that's... What? Michael, you're turning like beet red. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> cut to Gladys and Mirabelle's apartment with the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh. I'll argue that. Mirabelle. Hi. I don't understand. I, I, I'm not. I'm not serving any of you old ladies today. Why am I here? 
This is a gift. <laughs> okay. You know, um, a gift. where's the other fellow? <laughs> oh, my boss. So He's on vacation uh, in Atlantis. Uh, who? Going who? down those water slides. <laughs> I mean, this is shabby pickings for two hungry ladies. I told there'd be two. There's two of us, and there's one of you. Well, I don't know. It couldn't go very well for you, young man. Where's the other fellow? Oh, okay. I, I think I see what the gift is here. No, you do. No, you for misms required. Okay. None at all. We're the ladies, the gifts that keep on gifting. Um, can I just ask, do you mind putting your robes back on and, and maybe putting those leather whips into another room? I just <laughs> feeling a little uncomfortable here and a little nervous. Huh, I heard the IRS was kind of a potty type of organization. I'm so Oh, yeah, we do. We have like, you know, cake parties and cupcake parties, those types of parties. We cut to the um, the uh, IRS overlord on vacation. <laughs> IRS overlord. Is that you, IRS overlord? Oh, yeah. Hi. Well, hi. I'm on vacation. Uh, SEC, there is no party fund. You're being audited. You know, uh, I got to say, this is one of the most honest gifts I've ever gotten. During this time in, that I spent on vacation, I've realized that anything can be a gift. And uh, I appreciate you showing me that. So oh. I'll get this filled out and get it back to you real soon. <laughs> That's really touching. I feel like I want to let you off the hook. No, no, don't. I actually just finished the audit and, and I want to get it back to <laughs> Same. <And> so... <laughs> oh my gosh. Aaron, I feel like you should play as the doubt take our actual theme song. So, the <laughs> oh, yes, I can do that. <laughs> Once we finish our promotions. Thank you, Mark. That was amazing. Thank, Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Yeah. Um, the floor is yours, sir. If you have anything you'd like to promote, any like shows in Atlanta or any podcasts or sketch work, anything at all. Oh, sure. Uh, you know, if you happen to be in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and you're a person of color, Onward Theater is having a POC improv jam this Sunday in their new space from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So if that's something you want to participate, if you're a person of color, you want to uh, hop in on that space, come on by. I'll be hosting the jam. It'll be a nice time. Nice, nice. Onward's a really cool space. Just went over there last uh, couple weeks ago, actually. Yeah. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh, <clears throat> a lot more better improv and self-expression. We do blue humor jams on Monday nights. We do grounded scene jams on Thursday nights. We do random live streaming shows. So come follow the page and come join us for some fun. Uh, Jennifer and I are on the most recent episode of Dr. Fix Me podcast right now. So uh, go check that out. It's uh, it's crazy. That's my son who's only four. Actually, no, he just turned 15. Well, congrats to Dash. Yes, it's a very funny episode and lots of cheese. <laughs> no spoilers. Yeah. You, that can mean anything. <laughs> or it can mean cheese. Uh, anything else? Okay. Uh, yep. Thank you for thank you for watching the season seven opener, and we'll see you all next week. Wait, so let our theme song play, Michael. Don't make us all. I am going to play it right. Now reverse, like come in, blah 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 blah. It's not playing. Nothing. Not playing. We've got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing, huh? Why is this sharing not working? <laughs> See us next time for season two, maybe or episode two, maybe episode two. We'll have a theme song. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Attack maybe. of the theme song. See you then. Musical audit. <laughs>